All right, so in this question, they say, which expression is equivalent to 3x squared cubed? So if we look at this, 3x squared right, cubed, what does this mean? Well, when you have your exponent here, I'm going to look at this one first, the one outside the brackets. That means take everything inside these parentheses and do what? Well, multiply them by themselves three times. Right? Think of 4 to the third or something. Well, if I put this in parentheses, it still means the same thing, but it's saying, okay, well, take 4 and multiply it by itself three times. So whatever's inside the parentheses, we're multiplying it by itself three times. So this means we have what? Well, 3x squared times 3x squared, I'll use parentheses here, times 3x squared. Well, here we're multiplying everything, so we can rearrange. I could multiply all the threes first, so that's really three times three times three, right? Three times three times three. And then we can multiply our x squareds. Well, that's times x squared times x squared times x squared. Okay, well, three times three times three is 27 x squared times itself three times is, well, there each two x's, so altogether that's x to the sixth. Right, we add those exponents. The idea being that if x squared equals x times x, if you multiply x by x times x times x times x times x, right, each of these are x squared, you can see that there are six x's in total, which is x to the sixth, and that's our, our answer. Now a shortcut to this, you can take the exponent and kind of distribute it to each part of the term inside so that it's 3 to the third and x squared to the third which is just x to the sixth. You can multiply those exponents but the reasoning behind it is right here and notice there's no addition or subtraction in in this term which is critical because if there was we couldn't take this approach. It really only applies here because inside the brackets there's multiplication. Alright, hope this helped.